Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Pointer Technology. As promised earlier, today we'll be discussing the first application of the uh, home automation systems. We'll discuss about the lighting uh, control system. I'll give you a brief about the light control system, then we'll show you the uh, how you do the wiring for different type of the lights. The commissioning part will be discussed in upcoming videos. So let's just go a little bit uh, basic concept about the lighting control systems. Uh, mainly the light control system used to create uh, a nice atmosphere based on the uh, on the uh, on the uh, user demand or let's say that based on what you are you know uh, looking behind for your lighting control system. Uh, used for like for example you can turn on and off the common light uh, in the common areas which is what happening nowadays and mostly the dimming uh, light will be used in the bedrooms uh, maybe uh, a home theater if you have a home theater uh, also can be controlled through uh, you can control your light through scenarios you can have uh, you know uh, several modes for example it's party mode uh, movie mode you can create let's say that uh, uh, it depends on you know maybe birthday uh, mode and you can link it with the other applications. This is what's the beauty of the home automations, you know. Uh, so the scenes here, you can, you know, for example, let's say in your uh, living room, if you have a party, you can just press or really say that uh, uh, initiate the scenario. Automatically, the lighting will go to the certain ambience as part of the set. Uh, occupancy and time based control uh, can use uh, a motion sensor to detect occupancy of a certain uh, of, of some if someone is around that area and this mainly used for energy purpose uh, energy saving purpose uh, for example you can use it in the in office if you have a big office you can use the occupancy uh, uh, motion sensors to control the lights as, mo as soon as somebody leave from that place the light will go off so with all this off time you you save a lot of energy and same for the time based control uh, present simulation this is one of the beautiful uh, feature of the lighting control systems and it's linked uh, directly i believe with the uh, security uh, concern uh, for instance let's say that you have an vacation in uh, 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 London or anywhere you want to just go and uh, enjoy your life uh, uh, time uh, and nobody can uh, overlook at your home you can just uh, simulate you can just activate the present simulation so uh, a light will be turning on in the kitchen for like five minutes then uh, another light will be turning on in the corridor then watch area or then one of the bedroom so it simulates that as if somebody moving inside the house and as part of the uh, um, you know the security sense uh, most of the criminals they are afraid when they see that uh, and, 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 and or they feel that there is somebody inside the the house and nobody will will take a risk to you know jump in and try to steal your stuff and this is actually good 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 feature you know so basically what you said here that the lights just uh, we can make it normally just on off light which is commonly you can see in nowadays everywhere or on all the traditional houses that they don't have any uh, home automations and uh, dimming control system uh, for dimming the lights uh, different type of light you can dim and dali is a bit you know and it has some addressing uh, concept we'll talk about it later on so for the dimming we have the phase dimming phase dimming is actually the direct uh, 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 to 30 volt driving uh, 1 to 10 volt dimming and we have the digital dimming and the dmx uh, or let's say even the rgb their control mainly if you need to have uh, uh, different type of light that with different color mix of colors uh, you know Uh, the traditional will move on on the lighting uh, wiring part so we'll start with the traditional uh, lighting control i believe everyone have seen this uh, conventional switch in every house uh, this is only one gang switch so it will control only one light so how the wiring is happen is from the electrical uh, uh, db you will have a circuit breaker you'll take the live wire 
to the switch and from the switch the life will go to the to the light neutral directly they will pull to the uh, to the power source so here when you you just you're controlling the on off of the light direct through the switch and if the switch is too gunk you don't need to uh, pull the live wire again from the DB to the switch. So just only internally it will, be, it will be wired here and you can pull directly the cable as uh, a the, the live cable to the light and neutral you can loop between the light. So I mean here one light it means a circuit you know you can have multiple lights are connected together and the, the final wire will come from the switch. So this is a traditional way. So for instance, in, inside the room, let's say the bedroom, if you have three type of lights, spotlight, coof light, and maybe you have a chandelier, if it's on off, you will have here three gunk, instead of one gunk, three gunk switch, only one live cable will come from the electrical DB, and it will be distributed you know, for the different type of the light. So this is the type uh, of the wiring for the conventional and traditional way. To the smart solutions, basically we replace that switch to another uh, uh, device, call it actuators, it's come into different uh, for gunks, you can have uh, two gunk or let's say two channel actuator, uh, and you can have four channel actuator, eight channel, twelve, some of the companies even they have twenty channel actuators. So the wiring, you take the life, we will have two dBs next, next to each other. Uh, the uh, electrical DB and then you will have this device will be lying into automation DB and mainly you, they will be you know uh, very close to each other so you need to take the cable from the uh, power source the live cable you connect it to the channel A and the live from channel A will go to the light directly to the light and the neutral cable will go directly to the electrical DB so, so for instance, if you have in the same room another light, let's say that this light only cough light, if you have another light, a spotlight, uh, you can just pull the live cable from here, from channel B, directly to the, uh, the cough light. And if, for example, let's say that they are from R1, let's say this is coming from the R1 of the electrical DB, no need to pull again another cable from the electrical to automation DB, you can just jump for this live cable inside the automation so the question here is where the switch went. Basically, the switch will be looped through the KNX uh, port and has nothing to do with the electrical part and the electrical connectivity. It just only connects through the uh, KNX uh, uh, port from the electrical DB to the room. Uh, and you connect that cable to the switch. The switch, the switch will communicate smartly with all this actuator, with all the devices that was in the system. So you see here, uh, it's comparing with the conventional way. Conventional in the wall itself, you have uh, a live uh, voltage will be running and it's a bit, you know, you can say that it's not that much safely also. However, here you have nothing to, to worry about it in your wall. It's only just a keypad that connect on the wall and having the uh, KNX uh, uh, bus cable which is actually is a DC voltage, so there is no much of worry about the life safety. Uh, moving on to the phase dimming. Phase dimming actually they use for the halogens and the incandescent lamp lamps. Uh, it's a beautiful one actually, and also can be control LED by the way, the, the, the phase dimming, because nowadays people do use LED. But the difference here is when you use a halogen light, it will give you the real feeling of the light ambience you know, the true color, you know, you can have that yellow color, you know, and you can control the temperature of the, of the light, you know, the luminosity of the light. And mainly they use in uh, big restaurants, even if you have a dining room that you want to have, you know, or you have a room that is for party and you want really have that, you know, cool, romantic uh, uh, light, you know, uh, temperature. Uh, however, in uh, LED lights, uh, it can be dimmed and everything, but I believe it's only you can control the brightness of the light. It's totally different when you, you can try actually uh, install both of them and you will see the, the, the different feelings. For the phase dimming, actually they use two technology or some of them you can combine both of these technologies that I'm going to explain to you. Uh, inside the dimmer of the uh, KNX, there is something called Cyrester, which is, will take care of the uh, of this part that I'm explaining. 
so it either can be a leading edge or it uh, the, it can be a leading edge control base what i mean by leading edge here the the voltage will be represented in the sine wave so the cutoff of the voltage will be happening at the zero crossing so as a certain amount of uh, of time the, the 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 voltage will be passing the, uh, to the to the light so this time it can be actually you see here the the sine wave is goes all the way we have a horizontal uh, which is we call it zero crossing so the moment that the voltage will be crossing the the the, uh, the zeros only certain amount of uh, of voltage at a certain time will be allowed to pass uh, to the to the light and this waiting time actually can be controlled using resistor or a capacitor, a capacitor or a di digital uh, switch in our case since we are in, we are talking about home automation it will be a digital switch uh, it's suitable both for the inductive and resistive load the trailing age the difference between the trailing and the leading in trailing age the cutoff will be before the end so the sine wave so this goes before hitting the zero crossing the cutoff will be there so only before that time those vo that voltage will be only transmitted to the light and this uh, technique actually is uh, suitable for the conductive float in some of the uh, some of the uh, dimming controls they, they mix and match both of them so the phase dimming wiring actually let's say that you have a light circuit so I am always referring to light it's not only one bulb this can be a uh, series of the circuit maybe you have 10 uh, light are connected together you can just uh, w wire them you know uh, loop them together so let's say that this is the circuit of light in your room let's say this is a spotlight and consists of eight uh, bulb and all of them are in series connected uh, all of them are connected together and uh, loop together actually uh, so you, ha you will have to consider uh, a knx uh, phase dimming uh, actuator and depend on how many channels that uh, it has uh, the dimmer and you have to see, check the data sheet to see that how many wattage so let's say that if this uh, dimmer is only 400 watt per channel uh, then you should consider that uh, the calculation of the load how many light bulb you can connect in one circuit uh, so channel a will consider one circuit channel b will be another circuit because this uh, dimmer is actually only two two channel dimmer uh, you will take the live cable from the uh, power source which is the uh, circuit breaker from the electrical DB all the way to the input of the channel A and you can take the neutral from the same you know from the electrical DB to the actuator and you will pull the, uh, the, the neutral cable again to the light then the uh, load control from the dimmer to the light so there is no direct uh, uh, line or let's say the phase from the uh, electrical source this uh, neutral cable you can also pull directly or you can just loop easily from the uh, from the automation db if you have another light as i explained earlier you can just loop this uh, plus with plus minus with minus considering the uh, total wattage of the channel and the KNX port is here to be linked to the uh, KNX power source, uh, uh, power supply, and it will be looped with the other uh, uh, devices. Uh, let's say that if you have another uh, circuit, you will do the same thing. You cannot use the same uh, live wire from the channel A, channel B. You have to pull the cable all the way to the light. Uh, and then you can, if for example, let's say if they are from the same uh, phase, if they are from R1, you can just internally loop this uh, power source if for example this is let's say from r2 then you should have another breaker here for r2 then from r2 you'll pull the live cable and the neutral cable uh, 1 to 10 volt dimming for the 1 to 10 volt dimming uh, mainly they use uh, in uh, i've seen that used in hospitality uh, projects and you can use also for home automations you know 
uh, it's actually it's a wonderful solution and uh, cost effective comparing with the phase dimming less expensive uh, wiring part yes it is a little bit extra of wire but um, uh, believe me it's, it's amazing you know uh, because it does the dimming for you in a uh, uh, nice way and plus you can also you know use it as an actuator you know to turn on and off the light uh, for sure the phase dimming as well you can turn off the light but um, it's not the same like the concept of the uh, 1 to 10 volt so the wiring you will take the live cable from the electrical db to the input of the channel let's say that if you have four channel or eight channel you will take to the first channel and then the, the live from here it goes to the uh, driver so the light here which is at 0 to 10 volt it should have a driver uh, and neutral you can pull directly to the electrical db then what will be left is you need to pull a communication control cable which is uh, you can use the uh, same cable we use in a bms uh, one uh, mm two core or 1.5 mm two core uh, directly from the uh, 0 to 10 volt uh, control signals to the light this is only one bulb you can loop to the next bulb if let's say you have 10 of this in one room you can just loop them together so this one circuit will be the spotlight if you have another circuit you can pull from channel b the same way you can pull the uh, 0 to 10 volt signals to the to the light bulb uh, driver so the reason uh, uh, that we are pulling this uh, the live cable from the uh, 0 to 10 volt dimmer actuator is to control the uh, the lighting switching you know on and off but mainly the dim is controlled through this uh, channel you know 1 to 10 volt by sending this signals uh, it's a bit different between the, it's very close you can say that the 1 to 10 volt light uh, was a dali but in dali i'll explain uh, in the coming slide so dali is one of the uh, very nice uh, dimming uh, control system uh, in dali uh, each and every light has an address not like the uh, phase dimming and uh, 0 to 10 volt dimming so for instance let's say you have all this light are in one circuit okay you can just start looping from the first light let's say you have one two let's say until uh, 60 light so regardless whether this light in the, in the living room or the light is in the, in a bedroom or this light is in let's say that in the corridor you have to loop all this you can loop all these uh, cables together and each and every light has an address so later on you can do a grouping for example that the first 10 light this is the spotlight of the living room you can keep them in one group the second uh, 10 light maybe this is a bedroom three uh, cough lights you can just uh, group them together make it as uh, the cough light of the bedroom three and you can have address uh, you can have the information of each and every light you know the status whether it's a faulty where it's going to be uh, you know required to be changed the bulb and mainly uh, used for you know uh, commercial uh, uh, projects where you have big uh, organizations and we have a lot of lights and you have uh, AMC the maintenance team they need to take care of this light to monitor through the HMI or let's say that in the graphic control of the lighting control so if there is any fault it will pop up and they will show that you know there is a fault in certain light you know the location exactly so without uh, having uh, no difficulty to find out the, the faulty items you can go directly to the place to save time and replace the, the light bulb uh, in dali uh, for the knx we have mostly it will be uh, driving uh, uh, 64 lights so that means 64 bulb you can uh, link it together to one uh, one channel of the dali some of the manufacturers they have a single fault uh, uh, dali gateway some they have a, a two fault but in general rule of thumb you consider always the uh, one channel will control for you 64 light maximum that means you can loop loop all the 64 and the cable will go to that uh, dali gateway so as you can see here this is the dali ballast the dali ballast will connect the light this is going to the light 
and you have here the daily communications uh, port similar to the, uh, the 1 to 10 volt and you have the line and the neutral directly from the power source so here the in DALI the 230 volt is not controlled by the KNX gateway it's actually controlled by the DALI ballast so the DALI ballast is the one that controlling the amount of the of the the, the, the voltage the source the power source and the automations will control only the signal to to dim up dim down turn on turn off I will send the uh, broadcast messages if you for example you have a grouping which group has to be on which group has to be off and one of the nice application of the DALI can be used as uh, you know uh, emergency light uh, system as well moving on to DALI uh, wiring explains earlier let's say this is because most of the light will have also a driver the DALI driver uh, so the communications cable for the DALI same you know one mm you know two core cable you can just pull from the uh, DALI gateway to the DALI port of the driver if you have uh, let's say we say it up to 64 you can control so you can loop to the next light driver to the next light driver to the next light driver and the same the power source does not need to come to our uh, uh, the DALI gateway you can pull directly from the power source to the uh, DALI driver and you can loop between the next driver next driver until 64 lights uh, so here the communications control only the uh, the dimming part the voltage will be taken care by the DALI ballast itself so I hope you have a general uh, uh, understanding about this uh, uh, type of the light what the difference between the uh, on off light how you can do the wiring comparing with the traditional uh, uh, lighting control and the, if we talk about the phase dimming uh, application of the phase dimming then we talk about the 0 to 10 volt light how you do the wiring and we explain a bit about the DALI however still you can uh, always do a research if you want to understand more about this type of light and if you have any actually questions or any 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 information that need to be elaborated more uh, drop me your comments below or you can email me on the uh, pointer technology at gmail.com stay tuned bye bye